So let's bring the Basilisk into the battlefield. Maximum damage output loaded. Look how fast he's going down. What? What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome back to some more Warlord 7.5 update. I want to test how good the uh, Basilisk is. Three times on the Sharenga, now fully maxed on the life server. Um, we should be able to have a lot of fun with that. Let's activate some boosters here to make sure we're uh, rocking max damage, just so we can see that very well. And uh, let's go for it. Quick match. Boom. Here we go, maximum firepower. Whoa, yep, he just took a beating. I'm suppressed, of course. Suppression is wearing off. I don't know, it seems like we're shooting past him. Have you seen this? I. It looked like we were firing past the guy. We didn't actually hit him. The weapon doesn't seem to hit him. It fires past him somehow. Alright. The sound is pretty awesome of the weapon firing. We have to get closer though. I even have the Titan Accelerator on it. And I still... Here, Corrosion. The Corrosion is doing nothing. I'm killing myself faster than I think. Look! The Corrosion is doing absolutely nothing. So let's bring the Basilisk into the battlefield. Maximum damage output loaded. Look how fast he's going down. What? Okay, so this weapon can do damage. It's just that it tends to not do damage because of the long reload that it has. Oh, oh I have to reload again. See? 10 seconds. T oh, 10 seconds reload is just so overkill, Pixonic. For a, the, the robot takes so long to deal its damage, and that's a problem already by itself. Here we go, maximum firepower. Okay, he's he's doing this. I'm timing him out, so he cannot capture the beacon, and his ability is taking down. And bam! He wanted to capture the beacon, but I didn't let him. And reload again. This is nah, man. This is too much reloading. Way too much reloading for this. The firepower isn't good enough. The corrosion seems to be non-existent. Max firepower here. I can't hit him anymore. I can hit him though. Okay. Again, timeout here against the hawk so he can't capture the beacon. And then killing him before he gets it. Bats. Nice. Again, I didn't allow them to get it. All right, there he goes. Nice. Now let's capture this beacon. Uh, let's capture it real quick. So we have the beacon lead. And Max... Here. I have quantum sensor and... But he's gone. Now we're capturing all the beacons at the same time. And that should be it for the enemy team right here. Yep. Nice. Yeah, the Basilisk, it can do damage if the enemy is in the open and doesn't have any means of getting in safety and you're a fully loaded clip. And you can do a lot of damage if you're not suppressed, if the enemy isn't shielding himself with reflector or whatever. But, you know, most of the time something like that is happening and you need to be able to always apply firepower and not have this 10 second long reload. It's a problem. And the Cataclysm and Cyclone are better because they fire for a longer time before they have to reload. But this weapon misses shots due to spread, it misses shots due to enemies' fast movements and lag, and also then it, it, fire, it takes a long time to even deploy firepower or bring it on. So it's just not good enough in my opinion. Let me get behind cover here so we- or, or, or I follow our Minos friend. That I could also do. I could also fire or follow our Minos. Why wow, he goes down relatively quickly. I have to reload. My Minos friend is running around the corner. I have to reload still. I probably... Oh, and he's, he's doing it the right way. He's going in the other way. Okay, maximum firepower. Here we go. Bam! Nice. And here comes another Minos. And I think he's coming over here. Nice. Did he use his reflector yet? Uh, that was a problem. That was stupid of me that I just did. 
I should not have done the uh, the thing so early on. I have to get his his reflector activated. There it is. Reflector is out. And now we have him in a second. Okay, here we go. Firepower, maximum firepower coming in. And come on. Boom. Nice. Yes, the basilisk. Wait a minute. They have captured back the entire map somehow? Wow. How? Okay. Get back in cover real quick. Ooh, this guy just took took a little bit of damage there for a few seconds. I wish I could get... Get this guy here. Am I gonna be suppressed any second now, I guess? I did a lot of damage to them, but uh, obviously there's a limit as to how much you can do. Here we go with the Titan, ladies and gentlemen. We deployed the thing. And as usual, the corrosion is non-existent. Wow. The weapon sounds dangerous, though. And of course, I'm immediately locked and suppressed at the same time. One shot left in the magazine. Now we have an eight second long reload ahead of us. Unbelievable. All right, let's, show, let's shoot at the enemy Sharenga here. The shield came up to save him. Yeah, okay, so we're doing some damage to Titans, but it's really not that much. Oh my god, the reload is absolutely out of control. It's not from this world. I'm suppressed now. The entire team simply turns around, kills you instantly. I think it's time for the Titan. Boom, here we go. Yeah. Okay, he's face shifting now. He doesn't want anything to do with this Titan. Yep. Nice. Okay, got him down to last stand. Very little performance for, uh, for three heavy ultra weapons, in my opinion, but oh well. Here we go. Alright, nice. Then this guy, once the shoot stops... Ah, he just lags in cover! And here he comes back! He can aim straight down on me. And I can't do anything. I can't do anything. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, 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 he's falling, he's falling! Ah, he was in face shift. I thought my first opportunity to fire and kill somebody was immediately. Oh, maybe it is still. Yeah, okay, okay, that was good enough. Let's see what we can do down here. This might be a good position for our new weapon. Yep, 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 there's some damage coming in. We're already working down the shield off the Arthur, and somehow it seems like I was breaking through the Arthur shield as well. Okay, here we go. Yep, he's going down rather quickly here. Okay, and bup, timing him out so that he can't capture the beacon, because that's what he wanted to do here. He wanted to capture this beacon. And, uh, well, I stopped him from doing that. Okay. We have to outmaneuver him. Okay, there we go. And it seems like I am somehow getting through his shield with these weapons, which I shouldn't really be doing, right? I shouldn't really be getting through his shield. So he's going to use his flight ability now. There it is. I expected that. Can I get him in sight? Yep, I get it. Yep, there he goes. Nice. So where's the guy who flies around? This guy. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Here comes some damage. 
But now I have to reload, of course. Ugh. Now I'm getting an airstrike. That did 20,000 damage to me. Oh no, the match ended! What? Oh, I was just gonna walk out and kill that Ao Ming. Or could it not have worked and waited at least 10 seconds, man? Oh, come on, dude. So yeah, this was it. This was the Basilisk Ranga. Uh, not really a good setup at all. I don't think this weapon performs in any way good. It uh, lo reloads too long. It takes too long to deal noticeable damage. And uh, and then overall, the ammo capacity is not good enough. No, it's, it's just not a very good weapon in my opinion. And uh, the dot effect seems to be non-existent. Robots that I hit with a lot of hits, they landed with a little bit of HP. They didn't take any further damage and they basically survived. So that's the only thing that this weapon's supposed to have. And it's not there. So yeah, not really a good weapon right now. It needs it needs to be looked at. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one. Mani signing off. Bye-bye.